Okay, you guys, uh, this is my bug out boat. It's an alpine design lake boat. I have, I've taken it on rivers before and I can maneuver it fairly well. Um, it's small, I think it's only like, um, six, eight feet maybe. I've got just a plastic oar for it. Set that guy in there. Now I do have a stand-in. I always carry my uh, my H and R 20 gauge. This is a uh, Beeman RS2177 pellet gun. This is what I've been doing with my rabbit hunting with in the neighborhood. It's a great gun. Uh, this is just standing in for my H and R. Then what I got here, I've got some camouflage on here in the form of my uh, my fatigues jacket. Put the rifle over here. In, in, uh, in the form of my fatigues jacket, it's a great jacket. Not super warm though, but conceals pretty well. It's great for hunting. Uh, here's my bug out bag. I've gone over this before. Um, and then I've just got my uh, EDC here. Put this guy back in. I've just got my EDC minus the knife. The knife is in another bag because I was out hunting and it's a great skinny knife so but it's just my bag out, bug out bag it's missing a few things that are up in my room because I'm working on them got fishing supplies uh, ammunition usually and some other fishing supplies and the, the main stuff everybody likes to call it a 72, 72 hour bag this is not a 72 hour bag this is a this is a month bag because if I ration my ammunition, ration the food that I have in here, this will last me easily a month. And if, and if I, yeah, even if I don't have any um, ammunition, I mean food in here, I can still last a long time. I mean, this guy could keep me going in a SHTF or survival situation. This guy could keep me going for a long, long time. Um, just the supplies are in here, um, tarps and stuff, shelter, food, water, all that kind of stuff. Keep me going for a while. So that takes up the majority of the space in here. Then I've just got this uh, 10 liter dry bag. I also have a 5 liter, but it, it's a little more lightweight. I've just got some uh, rope that I could use as a strap if I want to carry this. Open this guy up. This guy just has some contents, uh, some pretty basic stuff. It has a Bushman knife. Um, pretty sure this is the buckshot. And then some more ammunition. When I have a bug out bag set up around my house, usually this is my main bag. This is my last ditch. And this bag is my uh, go-to if I have extra time, you know, if I'm running a drill. I have multiple plans set up. This guy is grab and go, run out the front door, get lost kind of bag. This is more, I've got more time. If, if I have time to get this bag, I'm going to camo up. I'm going to get in the clothes I want to be in. But with this bag, I could be in shorts and a t-shirt and vans, and I could still make it pretty well out there. Um, so I just have some some buckshot other ammunition, a knife. I usually keep uh, spare clothing in here, an extra set of clothing, usually a pair of fatigues. Uh, if it is going to go in my bug out boat though, like a uh, last ditch, I need to get the fuck out of here, pardon my French, um, then it's going to have some food in it usually. Um, also I want to talk to you guys about an SHTF a lot of people just buy all the MREs they can get. If you are planning, if you think, if you're really thinking that that's going to happen and you want to have some extra food, and I'm not a full-on prepper, but but I'm not so anal that I can say, well, n no shit's going to happen. Well, what if it's just a storm and the road is closed? We get uh, we get snowed out. Well, I want to have some extra food. Maybe the power goes goes out for a week. I uh, some cousins of mine they live in a semi remote village um, power went out for a week they were snowed in they did not have any electricity they had to keep a stove running to keep their house warm and all that stuff and if the electricity goes out 
your freezer and your fridge, all that shit is screwed. I mean, really, you gotta, you gotta prepare. I mean, you gotta be able to, I say, have one week's worth of MREs. Because one week's worth of MREs, I mean, one MRE can cover you. I've done packing trips where I just take three MREs for five days. And an MRE, I mean, you don't eat the whole meal. You substitute it with, um, with some food. If I look out my front window right now, try to zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in. Right across that path, there are five rabbits that live right over there. The only reason they're five is because I've taken ten out of there already and hunted them. Um, I mean, substitute your MREs, all that stuff. And if you're going to get MREs, get the kind that you want to eat. If you're in an SHTF disaster, I don't want to be eating shit that I, that I don't find comfortable. I mean, it's already a stressful situation. You're going to eat what you got to eat, but find some stuff that you really like, like mountain house food, those MREs, where you just got to boil some water with using a camp stove. I mean, I get the stuff, chicken teriyaki with rice. I love that shit. I eat that all the time. I mean, that's what you want to get. So just have that in mind when you're packing your bag or whatever. And I usually keep some boat supplies in here for this boat, an extra pump, some duct tape, some repair stuff. What if I get hung up on a log and put a hole in this guy? I mean, it's not very thick. It's meant to be a lake boat. I mean, you you fit, it folds up kind of small in your backpack and you, uh, packing this guy back up. I mean, it fits in kind of small and then you pump it up with a foot pump or you blow it up with your mouth or whatever. Um, but uh, if it gets hung up on a log, if I'm if I'm making an escape, and also I talked about that creek outside on my last on my creek recon video. Um, I uh, I don't know if I've posted that yet, but I will post that right after I post this video. Um, that creek is the smaller creek. There's um, it's just a fork in the other creek. The other creek is much larger. And if any storm hits, I, uh, the creek will fill up even more. Um, if a larger storm hits, we've had big rainstorms. Just showing you guys some of my stuff here. If a larger storm hits, then, I mean, I can, uh, even in the smaller creek, I can put the boat in and I have a way down. But um, it's just stuff to show you. And, I mean, this guy, I'm not going to roll that up for you on video, but, I mean... I can just rough pack this right now. Put my rifle in. Here we go. Put this over here. And just tie that shit down. And I mean, I have enough space. I am homesick today, so pardon the pajamas. But I have plenty of space to get in here and move around. And I mean, I weigh two or three times as much as all my pack stuff weighs. Make sure the dog doesn't get in front of the camera for you guys. Um, but I weigh two or three times what all this pack stuff weighs, and this is my light pack, even my, uh, I probably weigh twice as much as my heavy pack, so I can easily, I mean, sometimes it's, if you're going down a river, it's more effective to be in the back, but if you're in a lake or something like that, I mean, sometimes it's easily more effective to switch my rifle and stuff around, you guys, um, it's more effective to, uh, to sit in the front. Just back for you guys. Just uh, sit in the front. Okay. To sit in the front and be able to uh, paddle in the deep. Uh, this is made to be a two oar boat. So it is a little hairy with one oar. It's, uh, I've not perfected the, uh, the single side canoe stroke yet, so I will be working on that definitely this weekend. 
Um, uh, I'm working on that. And another thing about this, don't want to make this video too long, but if I have all this stuff up in front, show all my gear out there. I have all this stuff up in front. Most animals, if you're on a large river, like up in uh, Northern California, I'm down in uh, Central California. But uh, if you ride down along a river, a deer, honestly, a deer is not going to give a shit that you are on the river. I can easily, obviously not with this gun because it's a point one seven seven. although headshot on a deer could kill one. Um, good headshot from close range. Um, if I have my shotgun, I can have slugs. Or another thing I was uh, thinking about is cut shells. Um, I can easily use cut shells. I just take a number eight shot, and that's usually what I carry for the birds around me. Number eight shot, number four shot, whatever I have, I make a cut shell out of it really quick and simple, and then just you know, take them out. And I can easily fit a deer in here. I think this thing is rated for like like 300, maybe 400 pounds. It's a, sorry about the cat there. It's a, I can easily stick a 100 pound doe in here or a 100, 150 pound buck. I mean, this pack probably, and all my gear in here probably weighs about 20, 30 pounds. I'm 120 pounds. That's 150. 150 pound buck. 300 pounds, and we're still good. So, um, so I just want to show you guys my, uh, my, my bug out boat. Uh, another thing is that everybody talks about engines, putting an engine on it. What happens when you run out of gas? If you're really bugging out to the wilderness, you're not going to have, you're not going to have all that gas. So, uh, just give you something to think about. I'll uh, take the camera and just do a sweep over this so you guys can see how I've got it set up. So, hope you like my video. Hope you take from this. Uh, thanks for watching. And I highly recommend the setup in this boat. It's an Alpine Design A82 inflatable. Thanks for watching.